the operation called Dirty Deeds. Now the district attorney's office announcing they'd be dropping the charges against him. CBS 4's Tiffany Huerta sat down with him for an exclusive interview. She's live in front of the tax office with more. Pedro Garza speaks out for the first time. For now, he's free from the charges against him, but he still feels trapped. I'm as low as I can go. I can't get hired. I can't get a job anywhere. Former tax office employee Pedro Garza sat down with CBS4 for an exclusive interview after felony charges against him were dismissed Friday. And if it wasn't for my friends and family, I don't know how I would have made it. Garza was working as a sergeant with the Automobile Crime Enforcement Task Force inside the tax office when it was raided. The investigation, dubbed Operation Dirty Deeds, led to the arrest of Garza, two other employees, and the tax assessor collector, Tony Izaguirre. Why do you believe that you were arrested? Because I've been, I've been working there for over 15 years, and I've been there with Mr. Izaguirre. All this time, so you know, people say, "Oh, you know, there's there goes Pete and there goes the uh, lieutenant. They're going with Tony. That's his, you know, pistoleros or whatever they want to call us." But well, he's our boss. You know, we take orders. Garza says there was no wrongdoing at the tax office and feels the district attorney didn't have a case against him to begin with. We reached out to the district attorney who released this statement last week. Quote, it is not in the state's best interest to prosecute the employees before we prosecute Mr. Tony Izaguirre. Izaguirre is expected to go on trial later this year. Would you go back to the tax office? Of course. I, I, I'd go back and I'd walk with my head held up high. I have nothing to hide. That's why they dismiss, because they know they had nothing. While the investigation is ongoing, Garza hopes to clear his name and move past this. I don't know how this can be corrected, because the damage is done. Garza's attorney, Nat Perez, says charges could still be filed against him. Live in front of the tax office in Cameron County, Tiffany Huerta, CBS4News and ValleyCentral.com.